Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Okay y'all, so Krishan recently went live and she actually spoke on her new man and how he's such a nice guy. And she even hinted at possibly being married within the next three months. Krishan also spoke on the fact that she has been turning money down because she knows her worth and she feels like it needs to be worth it in order for her to leave her baby. She ended up going live with her sister-in-law and that's when she got more into detail about her new man. But her sister-in-law definitely gave her good advice and a lot of positive energy and she told her not to rush into anything. Especially when it comes to making permanent decisions. Anyway, here's a clip from Krishan's live. Like, okay, so what about, look, all right, Arisa. <laughs> I might be married in a couple months. <laughs> well, this is the thing. You don't have to rush. You can no, take I'm your time. That's how quick it goes. No, you have the power to slow it down. Like, I it doesn't even. Decisions. You don't make rash decisions, especially. Rash? You don't make rash decisions, especially. I mean, no, no, no. I'm very like, I'm very on the spot though. Like, you have time. You don't have to make any sudden decisions. Time where? <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Fuck that rash decision. Okay. Kind of decision. Huh? It's okay you to be it? excited. For something new. That's fine. But you oh yeah, I am excited. Yes. You are acting like that. You tried it out with my brother. You don't think that was rational? You're not even married to him no more. No, we're not talking about me. We're talking about... <laughs> we're not talking about me. We're talking about... No, we're talking about you making decisions and you making your time. That's what we're talking about. Uh, yeah. Man, you have some fun right now, though. I'm telling you, like, you're not going to work. What? <laughs> Girl, crazy. <laughs> Okay, I forgot. We know FaceTime. I know. It's okay for you to be like excited, okay, about a new situation. I'm hella excited. I'm gonna be so cool. Don't make any permanent decisions. That's all I'm saying. I'm excited for you. What? Just don't make any decisions. Yeah, take it out. He put you in a rush for it. Look at you. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Look at you. I'm not doing this with you today, Krishna. Let me stop trolling. But, um, y'all, have a great fun day, yo. Just laugh about it. And, yeah. um, have a great day. Emotional advice, therapy. Yo, we have my girl <laughs> I'm not taking any new clients right now, but you guys can join the page if you like. I'm I don't know why I get it. I don't know why I put this bitch. It's so negative when this bitch. Hey, y'all. Happy Sunday. So, look. I was going to start the sun. Ooh, good bird, papas. So, look. The baby getting stronger and holding his, whole head, his own head up. He's getting chunky. <laughs> oh no, okay. So far, so tough. So look, um, y'all. Why are you falling off like that? <laughs> hey, Papa, are you okay? You got poop? I feel your little air bubbles coming out the mud. He got a couple nicknames. His name is Papa Baby for right now, but when he get older, he gonna be somebody else too. His name is Baby Jesus. Oh yeah, so look, um, I haven't been working out, but I like how flat my stomach is. I just want abs, and then I'm cool. You hear me? And, uh, oh yeah, me and my boo dropping that shit tomorrow, I think. 
I, I, we, I just reviewed the video. My nigga, it's so... I'm happy that I'm in a space to, like, just have fun with my drama right now. Cut the fuck up. No. <laughs> I'm just going to take all these tats off and put him. But till then, I wear my shit. And then, too, oh yeah, back to that TikTok. This shit going viral. On TikTok, me saying, <laughs> I can't even say it for real right now, but y'all know what the fuck I was saying. It's all entertainment, you feel me? Like, we, we, look, I was dissed, but I'm not really, you know what I'm saying? Like, any beef I got concerned, this is the other thing. My, bitches be beefing with clout. They don't be beefing with me, man. Oh, God. I don't even be beefing with I'm not even beefing with him. I just don't talk to him. It's, uh, see, look, I don't even want to aim drop these ugly ass niggas. So, look, um, I got my little son. I got, okay, so I went to church, got my nails done, hair. 2 p.m., I got an interview. No, so I dropped probably at noon, I'm thinking. 2 p.m., I got an interview. Tuesday. What's Tuesday? I'm writing it on the board. What's Tuesday? What's Tuesday? What we gotta do? Um, hey, Papa. I'm right here. What's Tuesday? Fashion over. Fashion over. Oh, yeah. The fashion shoot. All right, so. Wednesday, Wednesday magazine. The magazine Wednesday. So, look. When, I got a nice little schedule. I came back home and got straight to work. So, today I went to church, got my nails. Um, I'm, I'm trying to get my head done. I'm gonna have it done by tonight. Or oh, I'm drinking in my little braids. Like, I ain't gonna hold you, but I'm on my dyke shit era, like, because I gotta be the poppy and the mommy. So, and I'm raising a boy. So that feminine shit ain't finna slide, cause he, he's not gonna be around with his dad or any nigga. So, I have to like, everybody be like, why are you dressing like that, get cute. I'm gonna get cute, but I'm gonna be, cute like this, you feel me? Cause I got played both roles, my nigga, and um, I I don't wanna alter anything with my son because I'm being a good mother. Like, you know, like say it's like, a, I feel like certain moms get in the way of being too much of a good mom that their sons start developing hand movements and stuff. So I like, Okay, he's too young to learn what my nails is doing, but when he get like one, I'm gonna back the short, I'm gonna back the stud, I swear to God. But I got some cute shit to do. So I got a motherfucking interview. I got, okay, so 12 p.m., what's 12? Oh yeah, I dropped with my boo. 2 p.m., I'm meeting up with Jason Lee, Messi is. Um, Tuesday, fashion over the little shoot. And then at the party. Like, and then Wednesday, the magazine. Oh, I'm so happy because I'm supposed to be my first magazine shoot. <laughs> and I'm going to try to squeeze my little junior in it. You know what I'm saying? I love him. He's my little, like, best friend for real. Like, he all I got. Really, and I'm all he got. So we vibing for real. We like, tell him, man. 
Jason Lee's taking forever to post Jaden and Blueface's interview because he's too busy scheduling an interview with Krishan. Krishan's definitely keeping busy and it seems like she's staying in a positive mindset, which is always good. In this next clip, Krishan makes it clear that she's trying to elevate and make a change in her life. Because at the end of the day, the best thing for everyone to do is evolve. Um, what else? It's a blessed week. It's a blessed Sunday. I've been in my work. That's why you ain't haven't seen me. Okay, I was a little. This was this one day I just woke up and started chit chatting on the internet. I shouldn't have done that. So next time you won't ever see that because Kashawn is trying to elevate. <laughs> But not for real, I had to really stutter. Yeah, you know, I, I'm telling you, I show messages, bro. This nigga saying, nah, I don't got nothing to do with that kid. You want to change your name? You took me out of the process of being there for the birth. Fuck you and him, dad. And I, and I feel you. I'm like this. I feel you, bro. But who the fuck was you when I was pregnant? Um, I think whatever you receive right now, you deserve. I mean, we can learn and be mature and really. And then two, I don't know. I really can't let up off that shit when he posted my uh, son's penis. So I really don't want his son to see him. I don't, like, I really don't feel like you need. I don't even know. Like, if, 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 if anybody going to deal with him, me. I feel like my son should not have to deal with any of that and nothing. And this little fucking boy, bro. So, okay. Yeah, it's talking. What'd you say? You talking? the binky I got. So I got a boomed out binky with my son name on it. It's big as shit. And say Krishan Jr. And I'm getting tatted right here. His name. And I'm getting his face on my chest. His newborn picture. Like the picture y'all ain't see yet. Like the picture I ain't even post when he first came out the womb. And they uh, hold him up. When the doctors get the uh, making sure he crying shit. When he, yeah. Oh uh, yeah. I've just been quiet lately. Okay, I wasn't. <laughs> Mars. 
Because while I'm trying to play with him, I end up, man, anyway. I, I don't, I don't, like, I'm not going to be talking to you just for kick and giggles. I'm going to be planning with you, like, all right, are you suited up? You ready to do this life with me and then have some more babies or whatever? So that's the part that, that's the serious part. Like, that's my kid. So it's like, all right, you know, I'm taking my time with this shit for sure. Because he's a good dude, but it's like, how do you... So basically, he's gonna have a stepfather. Like, you know, that's the like, the shit I, I should have been thinking about. So. And then he's so calm, but I, that nigga's so calm. Like, I don't know. It's kind of like, it's giving a. Cause y'all gonna really be mad and shit at me. Like I don't know what to say because I wanna say too much. <laughs> but yeah, y'all keep saying something about this. Yo, I'm going to paint my look. This look. So look, this is heavy. It's gold, right? Only thing that's permanent on there is. The chains and stuff, you feel me? But the paint, this shit can be replaced with, an, with his son's face. Oh God. So that's how I'm gonna get it done. So y'all keep saying, stop playing and stop, bitch. I, this shit is what? I got a whole what? This is well, 40,000 on my motherfucking neck. Get the fuck out of my face talking about, I'm gonna wear my motherfucking mommy on God. If it was a gift, yeah, I'm gonna give this bitch back. But none of my chains was gifts, bro. I bought all my shit. I just be giving other people credit. But um, but I bought all my shit, nigga. I'm wearing all my shit on God. You hear me? I'm from Baltimore, nigga. I don't care who face it is on it. That shit say what it say. Run that number. Oh, all right then. Y'all, 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 y'all forget, y'all. Y'all in like that internet world, like, oh yeah, she, she got it, she, she ran the chain, she ran the chain, she ran it, bitch, my chain is y'all getting salary, why the fuck would I not be wearing this bitch, I'm just gonna get it repainted, but I'm waiting for my little nigga to grow up, to get it repainted, or just paint my new nigga face on there, huh, that's messy though, that's messy, I'm not, like, I want, I want, I want, that's messy, I, and I might do it, cause. <laughs> Because nigga, I'm too motherfucking lit. Oh God, huh? Hey, my God, be a little eye or something. I'm keeping my glasses on. I need to shave my head. I'm gonna wait till the ass dog. She pull up in a couple of hours, so that's gonna give me time. I handle all my shit today. I ain't gonna hold you. <sighs> So in this next clip in her life, she speaks on how she's been turning down money. Because obviously as a mom, it has to be worth it if you're going to leave your baby. Obviously before she had a baby, she had more time on her hands 
and she was first coming up. So she was going to take every job offer that she got. But now she has a house. She has deals. She has money coming in. She has a lot going on. So she doesn't need to take every job offer that she gets. I'm not being negative. I'm actually, I got up on here and I'm, I'm just popping my shit. So, oh yeah, this is the other thing. So the word today at church was claim your authority. So look, I was doing certain things, right? And I was feeling like I'm fucking up. Like, oh, Christian, are you like turning? Because look, I'm, I swear to God, I'm turning down money. But it's only because I know my value and what type of influence I bring when I do post a flyer. That shit's sold out. So certain shit coming at my phone, like, woo, wham, I turned it down. Then I'm feeling bad. Why would I turn down money? So then I went to church. Yo, the word was on point. It was like, um, claim your your authority over your identity. Like, like you know what I'm saying? Like, and so it backtracked to where I was confused at what I second guessed. But look, on God, when you first start, yeah, don't turn down nothing. Yeah, drag. <laughs> But I live in a $2.6 million home. Um, my name is Krishan Rock, bro. Um, I do have a lot of loose ends, but nigga, I got the internet on lock, my nigga. So it don't matter if I do music, sell clothes, dot, 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 dot. I'm gonna get a venue packed the fuck out. So I just, I just will, will, will want you to respect how I'm coming. Like, I don't care if I'm the missing tooth bitch or the bitch that's getting disrespected by a blue face. Nigga, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. I know my value. So it's like, yo, I turned down money. And I just want to let motherfuckers know when y'all turn down shit only due to... Ah, 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 don't feel bad, yo. Go in your prayer closet and tell God what's up. Like, hey, yo. Oh, God. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. You hear me? So when I'm in my prayer closet, and then I got the word today from uh from church. I'm like, oh God, make it shine play. So it's cool. So what I am, I'm very patient. I'm not really quick to you feel me? Because look, I posted one fly, right? So I had like all this other shit where I'm ready to line up a whole like fake baby tour. I did that shit already for that price already. You get what I'm saying? So it was just more like kick back. Chris trying to just wait on the Lord. I don't know. I'm a strong believer, a strong manifester. Say if I want this, it's going to happen, yo. Say that. And if it don't, if it's not mine, it's not mine. Yeah, you hear me? So it's like, yeah, I'm not fucking with it. So long story short, claim, like, you know, you have authority, authority, you the author of your story, like, you know. So I have to, <laughs> I'm going through that. It's just like, you just know when like shit is different now. <laughs> but I was doing bookings like that for that rate when I was at what? 2.9 followers, 1 million followers. Nigga, I'm at 5.1, nigga. Had a son, his name is Krishan Rock Jr., nigga. I'm not fucking around. If I gotta leave my son, it better be worth it, nigga. Straight up, and these motherfuckers, ah, ah. Nigga, I'm popping my shit, nigga. Fuck out of here. Well, just leave me alone, hear me? I'm good without that bullshit ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm just letting y'all know, like, I don't know. Y'all get what I'm saying, though. I get what I'm saying. Mom, she ready? Mom. So I'm about to leave. Go do some positive shit. Um, stay in your word. You feel me? Uh, and all the negative people that's on my shit. Yeah, this not for y'all. This for the motherfuckers that's listening to rock right now. Like, I need motherfuckers to not be like 
trying to play with me and then acting like you don't follow me. Like, why are you on my live playing? Why are you under my comments playing? I don't give a fuck about you. I don't know you. I don't even know you exist, baby. And then the funny thing is I don't read comments. I look at my iMessage and see who's texting my phone. That's real. I don't really keep up with the internet shit. Unless you're attached to me. And I still don't do it. Turn my tags off. I don't even know where the tags go anymore. I don't, I don't, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It, it is what it is, Playboy. But like, she's drunk. No, I came from church and I'm just really fucking excited and happy. Because I locked in so many deals. I'm on my shit with my kid. He's safe. He healthy. Um, due to certain circumstances, I feel like I'm doing a pretty good ass job. No, I'm not. I, not, not, I am doing a great job on God. So I'm proud of myself. Cheers the motherfucking water. Nigga, I ain't drinking. I'm drinking water, nigga. It's a Sunday. Y'all never come from church. Still got the Holy Ghost. I still got the Holy Ghost. The positive though, you got a positive uh, motivational for today? How we talk on the phone sometimes? I be like, you don't even keep up with the internet. So how the fuck is you speaking to me? Are you ready? All right, I'm about to add you to the live wrestling. Rebuke y'all in the name of Jesus. I'm gonna use my password. Hey, everybody. Okay. okay, so this morning's motivational reminder was. Okay. You know, he's powerful. He likes to listen and receive words and stuff. <laughs> Tell him. He, he popping his stuff right now. Hi, Pooh Bear. That's what I call him. He likes when I call him Bear. Pooh Bear? Who is Papa Bear? Knows his TT. Okay, today's today's motivational reminder this morning for all of you guys that tuned in was: remember, sometimes we are aiming too low. Don't aim low. You have to aim high. You have to aim the highest you can possibly aim because some because even if you fail a little bit, always a little high for you originally. Okay. Remember, you were not created to blend in. You were not created to be like that. You were not created to do nothing. You were created to live a perfect life. It's up to you to figure out what that is. It's up to you to find out your purpose. Right? That purpose can only come from God because He's the one. That, okay. But if you need Put yourself around pot. Put yourself around things that are gonna like encourage us. So we gotta watch what we see. We see we have to watch what we listen to. And we have to the people that we have. Okay. So that's the motive. Let me motivate them real quick. It's clear that Krishan's sister-in-law is super positive and she has a lot of knowledge. She's definitely a good mentor to have. I personally think it's good that Krishan is setting up boundaries and she knows her worth. She's turning things down if it's not worth it for her. Because at the end of the day, people will take advantage of you if they think that you will take whatever they will give you. And it's absolutely true that wherever she goes, she brings a huge crowd. But I'm so happy for her that she found a new man and she's not stuck on Blueface anymore because that situation was definitely unhealthy. And I personally think it's crazy that Blueface would even say F the baby just because the baby's name is Krishan Jr. I'm not gonna lie, I knew he was controlling and petty, but I didn't think he would be that petty. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about all this in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the post notifications if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. Thanks for watching.